There's that music. There's Kevin Eleven. There's Baby Bells and Pleasant Doom. And all the cool kids. Finally, Friday is being brought to you this week by Major Spoilers VIP and Patreon members from around the world. You can show your support, keep this show going, and in fact, you can keep everything that we have at Major Spoilers going strong for the next decade when you point your browser to patreon.com slash majorspoilers. Wash your face. Don't touch your hands. In fact, don't touch anything. It's the end times, ladies and gentlemen, the end times, the end of days. But fortunately, it's also finally Friday. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're being healthy. I hope you're being uh, wise and not uh, going into overdrive panic. Although if you do want to go into overdrive panic, you can do that as well. Look, it's Yoda. Today's take your action figure to work day. So I thought I'd bring uh, Return of the Jedi's Yoda to the finally Friday today. I'm pretty sure he's germ-free. At least I hope he's germ-free. COVID-19. The coronavirus. Oh my gosh. It is uh, continues to spread. I remember when the first story started to pop up when? End of December? First of January? In China? And it was, uh, it was only a matter of time when you've got an outbreak like this. Before it gets to everywhere in the world. And so this is something that, you know, as we look at a pandemic, uh, you, it's interesting to trace this. In fact, uh, there's a great video. If you guys want to know more about uh, horrible pandemics, there is a great extra credits video on the YouTube where they talk about the uh, flu of 1918, the influence of 1918 that killed like what? Is it like 20% of the population, something like that? It was a large number. In fact, uh, the estimates are that it killed more people than the number of people that died in World War I and World War II combined. So it was a pretty deadly disease. And if you go and check out the go and check out the origins, you might start to see some connections between COVID-19 and influenza 1918. 100 years apart. Weird. Weird. Weird, I tell you. But listen. Uh, I know uh, that uh, a lot of people are panicked about this. I know a lot of people are upset about this. And you may be wondering, well, what are we going to do about it? What are, you know, we're at the start of convention season. What's going to happen when people are going to C2E2 and spreading their germs all around? Well, first of all, wash your face, wash your hands, don't touch anything. And for the most part, you'll be okay. I say for the most part, not 100% guaranteed. More on that in a minute. But there have been more cases, I think, what is it, something 20-something right now in Washington State. And earlier this week, it prompted Dark Horse Comics, DC Comics, uh, Vault Comics, uh, this uh, comic book grading uh, company, the CBU, CBG or CGG, whatever it is. They pulled out of the Emerald City Comic Con. Some others said they were still going. Individual creators were pulling out of the Emerald City Comic Con. And initially, Emerald City Comic Con released a press release that said, hey, we're going to do everything we can to keep the facilities clean. And it's not necessarily keeping the facilities clean that had a lot of people scared. It's where is everyone else coming from and what happens when people start shaking hands and touching and coughing and not covering their mouths and all that kind of stuff. So I think it was just like yesterday, Wednesday, I believe. Emerald City said, OK, look, there are people pulling out. If you would still like to you'd still like to come, we'll have the doors open. And uh, generally, we have a no refund policy. But if you want to cancel because of the coronavirus, COVID-19 is the official name, then by all means, we will give you a refund for that. And that was just two days ago. Well, this is a statement that was issued today from the Emerald City Comic Con. I'm going to just read some excerpts from it. We've been closely monitoring the situa uh, situation around COVID-19 virus in Seattle, and after many hours 
of conversations internally and consultation with local government officials and the Tourism Board, or Bureau, we have decided to move next week's Emerald City Comic Con to the summer of 2020, with date and detail announcements forthcoming. We did everything we could to run the event as planned, but ultimately we are following the guidance of the local public health officials, indicating that conventions should now be postponed. Now, we, and then they go on. So, I mean, a decision. Uh, the local public health officials, local officials, CDC officials, and others telling you to do these things. You don't want to listen to others that are just like, hey, you know, don't touch your face. Um, and you'll be fine. Go to work. Uh, that's pretty smart to do that. Now, what about people who are still planning on going and still have tickets and they haven't canceled anything? Talk with your airlines. Delta apparently is going nuts and saying, no, we're not issuing refunds for this case. But uh, Emerald City Comic Con, at least, is going to issue a refund on your tickets. To all of our fans, they say, you will receive a refund on your tickets. No further action is needed on your part. Due to the volume we expect, you will receive a new refund in 30 days. We appreciate your patience and understanding on this. So we will see what happens with the Emerald City Comic Con when it's rescheduled for summer 2020. I mean, that's, that's just in a few months. And I know viruses and flus tend to die out when it does get warmer. There's, you know, studies and data that indicate that. But that doesn't mean that it goes away completely. The worst flu I ever had, I got in the middle of summer. And I was in a little tiny apartment at the time. I was by myself. I wasn't affiliated with anyone or attached to anyone or conjoined with anyone. Uh, but I just remember coming down with something serious and being in this little tiny apartment with the window shut, sweating it out, and just being chilled for like a week. Couldn't move. Finally, somebody said, hey, we should probably check on Steven and make sure he's not dead. But I hadn't eaten, hadn't... Basically, I'd get up, drink a little water, use the bathroom, go back to bed for like a week. So, yeah, I mean, you can get the flu and you can get colds during the summertime as well. So with the crowded convention season, especially with San Diego Comic-Con coming up, I'll be very interested to see if Emerald City Comic-Con does indeed come back in 2020. The fact that they are issuing refunds for everyone, just the tickets, is also very telling. Because normally they'd say, hey, we're going to schedule this, uh, you know, later this year. If you want to hold on to your ticket, hold on to your ticket. As opposed to making people go and rebuy tickets again. So I find that very fascinating. Also, South by Southwest is coming up March 13th to the 22nd. Just a couple of weeks away. Already we have cancellations. Ozzy Osbourne is not going to be there. Apple has pulled out. Netflix has pulled out. Warner Brothers, Warner Media has pulled out. They had a number of things that they were going to show, including a panel on Supernatural, the final season of The Supernatural. Amazon Studios has pulled out. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Intel, Mashable, Vevio, Vivio, Vivo, Tim Ferriss, uh, and then Sony Universal and Warner Mu uh, Music have advised their employees not to attend South by Southwest. And if you go up to Variety today, there's a long article that says, why hasn't South by Southwest been canceled? I don't know how many uh, coronavirus uh, cases they have in Texas. Let's look really quick. How many coronavirus in Texas? And it says, how many cases? Let's see. Oh, that's not the one that I want. Texas confirms new coronavirus, six cases, all within a group of people who traveled over seas together. Uh, I don't, uh, it's 11 cases in Texas, the first 11, plus six, so that's 17 or more. Malone says, I have tickets already booked and paid to Japan for late May. Now I'm slightly worried, but that's it. Well, uh, I mean, you can wait till late May. You might want to, this would be my recommendation. Plan on going to Japan, uh, plan on having fun. But also, you might want to check your airline's refund policy in light of all of this. Now, during the month of March, Japan shut down all the schools, which caused all sorts of problems in itself. But it shut down the schools for the month so that um, people could stay home and not spread disease, which is interesting because my understanding is while a kid might get the coronavirus, they b basically bounce right back. But I guess being little carriers, you know how disease ridden kids are that they might bring it home and expose it to grandma and grandpa, mom and dad, who might be in their in their upper ages. As I was informed, I am. <laughs> I, I, 
Uh, my youngest has been monitoring this uh, coronavirus uh, situation very carefully. And I'm like, look, dude, um, if you get it, you'll probably get over it very quickly. The worry that you have to, that is really affected are the older people. It's like, yeah, yeah, older people like you, dad. And I'm like, well, 60 and over. And he's like, yeah, like you, dad. So, yeah, uh, that's what that's what I would watch out for at this point. Be aware that many places are encouraging their employees to, to uh, work from home. What was I saw a Google campus or a Facebook campus uh, post today where they're showing downtown Seattle and it's uh, fairly empty because so many people are staying home. Find out what that small ca cancellation fee is. Oh, South by Southwest News just came through. It's canceled. Well, let us uh, let us refresh the Variety page because I had just pulled that from Variety not 30 minutes ago. This is how quickly people are making these decisions. Oh, let's see. Uh, Ultra Festival makes cancellation official. Is Coachella next? So here's the thing. Okay, so let me let, uh, let's see. Coronavirus, coronavirus. Uh, oh, here it is. South by Southwest. Four minutes ago, 2020 canceled amid, amid coronavirus fears. Here's the, from their Twitter. The city of Austin has canceled the March dates for South by Southwest and South by Southwest EDU. South by Southwest will faithfully follow the city's directions. Ah, so this is a city decision to do this. Ah, very interesting. We are devastated to share this news with you. The show Must Go On is out in our DNA, and this is the first time in 34 years that the March event will not take place. We're now working through the ramifications of this unprecedented situation. As recently as Wednesday, Austin Public Health stated that there's no evidence that closing South by Southwest or any other ga gatherings will make the community safer. However, the situation evolved rapidly and we honor and respect the city of Austin's decision. We are committed to do our part to help protect the staff, attendees, and fellow Austinites. Now I'm just going to wait. I'm going to have to refresh my page because... Uh, there is another story on Variety where Broadway and the theater owners are saying, eh, we're going to watch the situation, but for right now we're not closing down any of our productions. Show must go on in, in New York and Broadway. Which, I don't know, give us four minutes. Maybe in, in the next 30 minutes that will change. And they'll shutter everything for the next couple of weeks. Coronavirus, though, having no discernible impact on theater chains, says UK Cinema Association. The UK Cinema Association says uh, it's definitely a developing picture, but we're not. Ha 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 ha. It's definitely a developing picture. But we're not seeing any discernible impact in terms of cinema admission across the uh, across the piece. Uh, said Clapp, noting the guidance from UK government has yet to restrict public gatherings of any kind. Well, of course not. People are going to go to the things that they want to go to, right? People would still go to South by Southwest. People would still be going to Broadway theaters. People would still be going to Emerald City Comic Con. People would still be going to wherever that they have free access to, or not free access to, but um, unrestricted access to, uh, buying a ticket, etc. And that, I think, is why these health officials in these places have had to step in and say, no, you need to shut it down. This is not a good idea. This is a vector for contagion. This is how things spread. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, no wonder you don't have a noticeable drop in theaters. In China, however, they did close the theaters. And I guarantee you, you are going to see the movie studios feel the pinch of that China closing later this year. It's going to be rough for the movie studios, now basically Disney and Warner Brothers, and Sony, I guess, to come to grips with their losing hundreds of millions of dollars because of this. And of course, now we have South by Southwest figuring out how they're going to recoup their costs, because I'm sure they've already spent tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, maybe a million or more on promotional and advertising. Same way with Emerald City Comic Con. They have to reprint everything. It's a good reason not to put dates on stuff, right? ECCC 2020, not put an actual date on there. There's, I think I've only seen one publisher, and I forget who it was, so forgive me. It may have been IDW, it may have been Image. But in lieu of these cancellations, people are missing perfect opportunities. In fact, I probably already missed a perfect opportunity when ECC closed. Uh, Jim Lee earlier this week said he was not going to go to the Emerald City Comic Con. And at that instant, I said, you know what? I need to reach out to Jim Lee 
and let's bring his panel here onto our Twitch channel. Let's bring whatever panels that want to come, whatever guests that we're going to present, any publisher that wanted to present, let's bring them on our Twitch channel and let's do a live panel streaming it. I mean, this is what I've been talking about for years, right? That the conventions are missing out on huge dollars when they are not figuring out a way to stream these panels live on the internet for people to watch, even with a modest fee. But they're missing out on these opportunities to reach out to people who can't afford to go to a convention, who don't want to go to a convention, or in this case, are forced to stay away from a convention. This is a perfect opportunity for these companies to figure out ways that they can deliver content directly to the home. And I know that for many of you who have disagreed with me over the years, believe me, I understand this, that that's just what in quotes, they want. They want us to stay home. They don't want us outside interacting. It's all a conspiracy to control us. Eh, maybe true. I don't really believe that. But I think that a studio maybe looking to recoup their costs probably should have taken their, their movie and opened it up on, you know, Apple iTunes or whatever streaming service that they have in, in China or here in the United States if it gets that bad and say, hey, we were planning on opening the new James Bond this week, but looking at theater attendance or the theaters are now shut down or whatever, pay your 10 bucks on iTunes and, and watch it or pay 40 bucks on iTunes and watch it and recoup the cost that way for people who absolutely want to see it on that opening weekend. Yeah, the James Bond uh, film uh, postponed till November. Oh, yeah, it's also an Olympic year. Oh, man. Well, hopefully that would be pretty bad if that gets canceled. That's like billions of dollars spent. I don't know. What is uh, Alex uh, uh, or is it uh, Alexi V or is it maybe Alex 4 1969? Uh, how I haven't looked outside of uh, really China and uh, what is it? Iran and uh, the United States and South Korea, I guess, to see how bad coronavirus is in other countries. How is it in, in Australia? I'm just saying that, yes, we can turn, we can look at this as a horrible thing when all these places are shutting down and conventions are shutting down and other things, but now is the time for these media companies to really pivot and really figure out a way, how can we take this frown, turn it upside down? How can we make this a net positive for our company by taking our stuff online. How can we do that? So I'm, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen in the next 15 days as people try to figure out how do they how do they turn these cancellations into net positives instead of whining and complaining to their to their investors. Oh, we're sorry. We lost a nickel of your investment this year. We have a few cases here on the Gold Coast. There's talk of a possible cancellation of the Olympics, especially because of it being in Tokyo. I see. Alex. It is Alex. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting. Is that, that, that ancient uh, Proverbs, proverb slash curse? May you live in interesting times? It's definitely that. Now listen, if you are someone that is... Um, I'm around people all day, and I still touch my face. I try to wash my hands as often as I can, but I'm still still constantly doing this, or sitting there like this, or in a meeting like this. I don't shake hands, but, you know, I'm dealing with people that are like, how do I do this? And so my natural instinct is to just grab their mouse that they've been touching and start moving it around. And I touched one the other day, yesterday, I think. Yeah, yesterday it was. So let this, you know, somebody mark this, put a marker here so that in the, the next 14 days, I touched it and it felt clammy and warm, the mouse did. And I was like, oh, great. And then, of course, I completely forgot to wash my hands after that. Funny part is we have people buying mass quantities of toilet paper. I know I saw something at like a Costco or something that they were all out. And really, you don't have to go out in a, in a, in a, in a panic 
and emptying the shelves. I did mention the other day that I went to Walmart and um, normally that time of day it's super crowded, but I went in and it was mysteriously empty or maybe they were on the other side of the store or saw me come in or whatever it may be and decided to run. But really, don't, don't panic. That's, that's the thing that you want to not do. The CDC today released a list of protective chemical pollution, what is this called? CDC uh, released some antimicrobial products that will that can kill the coronavirus, COVID-19. And as you might expect, bleach, disinfectant, ink cleaner, oxycide, peroxide, multi-surface cleaner and dis disinfectant, clear side, peroxide disinfectant, anti-glass cleaner. I don't think it's anti-glass cleaner. I think it's and glass cleaner. <laughs> You know, that, that stuff that's on there eats away on the outside of the virus, helps kill it off. Lysol. I'm a big fan. When my kid got sick a couple of weeks ago and was home for a couple of days, I got out the cans of Lysol and I just walk around the house, psh, spraying everything down. Nobody else got sick. He was, he was fine in a couple of days. I'm not saying that that's the reason why. Correlation is not the same as causation. Everybody check themselves before you wreck themselves. A friend saw a fight. Where are you at? Oh, you're in uh, uh, Australia. A fight over toilet paper. That's right. I am dual wielding. I, I carry them both. Both cans of Lysol. And I just spray the entire house. I walk backwards through the house so I don't uh, spray myself into a corner. I'm just like, psh, spray every surface that the kids are sleeping on or touching. Get all that stuff done. Also, we have like Clorox wipes, Lysol wipes, you know rub your surfaces down, rub your counters down, rub your toilets, your sinks, all the things that people touch. Don't forget your electronics, okay? Don't forget to scrub down your, your game controllers, your phones, your, um, uh, your remote controls if you have multiple people touching that stuff. You know, general, every week cleaning. Now you just may have to do it every couple of days. Yeah. Uh, bleach is, is one of the, if you just go down here, Clorox Healthcare Bleach Germicide Cleaner Spray, Clorox Multi-Surface Cleaner and Bleach, Clorox Pet Solutions Advanced Formula Disinfecting Stain and Odor Remover, Clorox Disinfecting Bleach, Clorox Performance Bleach, Clor Clorox Germicidal Bleach, Clorox Cleanup Cleaner Bleach, Clorox Disinfecting Bathroom Cleaner, Clorox Disinfecting Wipes, Clorox Toilet Bowl Cleaner with Bleach. Lysol brand heavy-duty cleaner disinfectant concentrate. Just get out there and do that stuff, people. I touch my face. I'm touching my face. So there you go. Things are getting canceled. Uh, here's one thing. Here's another. Po here's one thing uh, uh, that could be another positive that comes out of this. Companies need to pivot and figure out how they're going to make a, a win out of this situation. Hopefully, by taking all their stuff online and having fun events and getting people on Twitch channels or whatever. Heck, if there is a publisher out there right now or a person who was going to present at a panel at Emerald City Comic Con, contact me like in the next couple of days and we will do some streams with you and we'll do your panel uh, here. You know, if Jim Lee wants to come on our show and talk about all the things that are going on at DC, we'll be happy to host it. We'll be happy to, to, to let people know. We'll be happy to have people come and watch us and share that with everyone else. But here's the other thing. A lot of people complained that a lot of these shows get really blown up and out of proportion. South by Southwest, I think, is an extreme example where it went just from this small uh, film festival to this big, huge media conglomerate event. Maybe something like this is what resets some of those shows and conventions back to, the, to a, an earlier time period where it was mostly people there for the comic books and for the panels and not for the Hall H's. Maybe there will be... I don't know what's going to happen with the uh, Con Film Festival. They're still uh, talking about that. So, yeah. <laughs> If, if it takes the paint off your walls, it's pretty effective. Sounds like Dragon Con. Dragon Con will also be interesting. That's in September. Of course, some people may not uh, realize that. 
Here's the other thing, too, and I mentioned this on the pre-show this week. And again, go watch that extra credits uh, video on the influence of 1918. Yeah, there was a drop-off in the summertime, but in October, it came back with a vengeance stronger and worse before than before. So I know people are saying, let's push this to September, October, or whatever. Uh, just keep a, keep your eye out. Just be alert. Be aware. Don't panic. Take your necessary health precautions like you normally do. Cover your mouth when you cough and you sneeze. Everything will be okay. You'll still be able to buy your comic books. You'll still be able to read your... You can. I mean, think about this now. If you don't go to your comic book store, you can still get your comics through Comixology, right? If there's a new game that comes out, 90% of all these publishers have it available for download via your mobile or your mobile device or your game system. Books are on Kindle. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. All right. Uh, hopefully that didn't panic, panic anyone. Hopefully this uh, gave you some insight as to what's going on in my mind as, as these conventions cancel. And it would not surprise me if we see more conventions get canceled in the weeks and months ahead. But hey, look, we're hanging out. I don't think we're going to spread any disease through the interwebs. And so this was fun. I got some things off my, ch uh, off my chest. There's a lot of good... Whoa, I dropped my Yoda. So much for take your action figure to work day. Oh. Poor Yoda. Did you guys take your action figure to work day today? If not, why not? If when? If not now, when? First Friday of, of every March. First Friday of every March since, was it, uh, I guess the last seven years? I would love it. I would honestly love it uh, if someone reached out to me and said, hey, we had a panel scheduled at Emerald City Comic Con and uh, we want to we wanna do a live stream with you guys. I would definitely host it. We've got the ability. If you've got Skype, we can Skype you in and we can make it fun. Eh, you know, here's the thing. I don't, I don't, trust me, I am not being dismissive of this and I'm trying not to be dismissive of this, right? I, I think it's worth having a conversation about it because... It is something that's going on right now and does affect the health of a lot of people around the world. Um, you could have taken your action figure to work. But I do take pandemics super seriously. So much so that, for those of you that have been hanging around major spoilers long enough, there was a discussion that we had on the Munchkinland podcast in, when it was in its audio form. Uh, Rodrigo and Brian and Rob and I were having a discussion about the game... What is it? Pandemic? Uh, something where you play the virus and you try to mutate to kill as much of the world as you possibly can. That was the game. And I couldn't play it. I played it for like maybe a day and then it freaked me out so much when you think about how deadly some of these viruses can be and how they can evolve and jump and all this kind of stuff that I refused to play the game. It was giving me nightmares. And of course, the creator of the company, Outbreak is on TV. Watch Contagion, watch Hot Zone, watch all those kinds of things. Watch watch the Andromeda strain. But uh, the, the, the creator of the game reached out to us and explained, you know, here's what the game is. Here's why we're doing this. And thanked us for talking about it, even though I was freaked out about by the game. So, no, I take this stuff very seriously. Believe me, uh, you know, I'll be I'll be picking up an extra can of beans or two some more soups, a few non-perishable items, not a whole bunch. I'm not going to clear out the store. But, you know, over the next couple of weeks, pick up a little extra here and there when you go to the store and you'll be fine. Oh, Plague Inc. That's it. Yep, that's it. Plague Inc. Oh, man, that game still today gets me goosebumps on my arms when I think about uh, how deadly that game is. But if you want to if you want a sense of that, then check out Plague Inc. and see what happens when viruses mutate. If you want to see if you want to see us, major spoilers people, figure out, figure out what we're going to do during a pandemic, head over to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash major spoilers video, and watch us play the game Pandemic and see how we are reacting to that. Hey, make sure you uh, spray some Lysol on those action figures, okay? All right, that's where we're going to wrap it up today. I've got to go get my son. It's in the last day of soccer tryouts. Oh, I might have some good news next week, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to stick around for that. 
So I'm going to go do that. I want you to have a good weekend, a safe weekend. Go do something fun. Or if you're like wanting to stay at home, I'll be back here at 3 o'clock p.m. on Saturday, Central Time, to play some video games. I don't know what we're going to play yet. What did we play last time? I think it was Red Dead, wasn't it? I'll figure out something for us to play this week. I'm thinking maybe we should go back onto um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I haven't played that in forever. And don't forget to vote for the Dueling Review over at patreon.com slash major spoilers. There was a tie this last week. And so Matthew and I recorded two episodes. One that's in the main Dueling Review podcast feed. And then one that is only going to be found on patreon.com slash major spoilers. But it is also free for you to listen to. So all you have to do is go over to patreon.com slash major spoilers. And you'll be able to listen to that show over there. But if you sign up to become a patron at the silver level or higher, you get access to an RSS feed that gets you all of the bonus content that we post over at patreon.com slash major spoilers on a weekly basis. Flashback, major spoilers pre-show, critical hit a week early, um, the, the other stuffs that we have, so much stuff going on over at patreon.com slash major spoilers. Thank you everyone for your support who is currently a patron. I hope you do have, honestly, I do hope that you are well, and I hope that you do have a good weekend. Many of you I will see tomorrow. The rest of you I will see next time when it's finally Friday. 